Hello everyone, this is Donna with ddivadesigns.blogspot.com and um, I have a quick little um, project I wanted to show you that I'm working on. I'm working on actually several projects this summer. Thank goodness the summer's here and uh, doesn't stop work from going on. But in any event, I am working on several projects and I kind of sort of like scrapbooking that way because it gives you an opportunity to step away from a project and then come back um, when you get a little... Um, I don't know, you get a little dry in your creativity. So when you step back to the project again, it's, it's fresh and the, the the ideas seem to flow a lot more freely when uh, when you're looking at the project fresh. So I'm working on this mini. It's actually going to be a tag mini and um, it's in the shape of a tag. And um, I'm really kind of excited about how it's turning out so far. This happens to just be the cover. So um, I'm kind of excited about how it's turning out because I've never done a vintage themed um mini album or, or a page or whatever. I've never done it. But the reason why I got inspired is because I have some, uh, I forgot that I had some very vintage pictures, vintage old pictures of both my grandmother on my, on my parents' side, my, uh, my mom's mom and my dad's mom. And so I want to use this tag mini as a, um, um, to display their photographs. Some of them are really beautiful pictures too. So I have to be careful how I use them. So I want to make this really special. But anyway, I'm thinking this is going to be the cover now. This little lady that's on the front is actually no one that I'm related to. She kind of sort of reminded me of Josephine Baker, um, the famous dancer. Um, but I saw this image on um, on the internet and um, I just thought it was so pretty and she was beautiful. And I like her hair and everything. And I'm probably going to jazz it up a little bit to give it a little more bling or just leave it alone. But and anyway, the shape of this tag, as you can see, it's rather big. And I used, this is actually... Um, cardboard that I tore apart or ripped it apart and I distressed it completely. Um, I pulled this template right here. This is the template that I'm using from this is a, some very thick cardboard uh, but all of my pages are going to be in this shape. So um, what I did I completely distressed it. I used some rock rock candy uh, crackle paint to I don't know if you can see it on the camera but in any event I did use that along the side and I used some walnut stain to distress it some ed distress to the uh, to the edges. As you can see a little bit, I hope you can. And then, of course, I added an extra large bread there, extra large, I'm sorry, eyelet. And that's how I will bind the um, the tag mini when I'm done. Um, and I added some paper here, and I distressed the edges. Added some bling, and added some paper ribbon right here on the bottom. And this flower, I just made, completely made from scratch. I was playing around with it one day. It's some ribbon that I got from on clearance at Walmart. And it kind of sort of looks like Webster's Pages, but it's not. I think I got it for like 99 cents for a whole roll. So I distressed it up a little bit. It's rather thick, but it's okay. I didn't want to take it apart. I didn't really want it to be that thick, but I got to going around and around in circles and couldn't stop. <laughs> so um, I think it turned out okay. I'm going to leave it alone and not mess around with it a little bit. I distressed it with some, some more distressing ink. Add a little bring uh, a little bit of a bling in the, uh, in the middle. That's a bread. Added some more ribbon here that's in black and silver that I thought would bring this um, cover out a little bit. And I'm probably going to add some type of title somewhere in it. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm going to add a title to it. I don't know if I call it Vintage vintage beauty or something like that but I'll add some type of um, title somewhere on it but I just I think it's turning out okay so far and um, with that picture as you can see I uh, use the distressing uh, Tim Holtz distressing tool to um, edge it up a little bit and added some uh, some ink around the edges and uh, haven't done anything to the back yet. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. It's fairly distressed too. I just added some, uh, I added some uh, water to some paint just to grunge it up a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. And um, I have several pictures. So this is probably going to be at least, probably at least four pages, back-to-back uh, -back pages in this mini album when I'm completely done. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I think it's turning out, so far, it's turning out okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the feathers. I added some feathers in the back. This black feather here and this feather here. Completely forgot about my feathers. And back behind here, you can barely see it. I added some lace, some lace ribbon too. So, which is this ribbon right here, as a matter of fact. So, anyway, it's turning out, it's turning out okay. I, um, um... We'll probably put this down for a little bit because I'm actually working on another project. Um, and uh, and then also I'm so excited because I'm saving all of my pennies for uh, the Great American Scrapbook Convention that's coming to Chantilly, Virginia 
it comes this way every June, the end of June, and so I'm saving up all my money because I'm sure to put a, a hurting on my credit card. And my, my best friend at work is coming with me for the first time, so we're sure to get lots of goodies for the year. And this will basically be my my splurge for the year um, and to work on some more projects. So anyway, thanks for looking. And uh, when I finish the album, I will post it up on YouTube um, to share with you guys. And I'm also going to post some pictures up on my blog. And again, my blog is ddivadesigns.blogspot.com. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Smooches!